Hi, welcome for our online training sessions. So in, in this session, we are going to talk about the business units. What is business unit? How to create a business units? How we can go for assign this business units to the legal entities? What are the different questions they'll ask in the entry point of view regarding the business units? That's what we are going to talk about. So business unit is nothing but an organization where client is doing main business operations like sales, procurement, payables, receivables, cash transactions. Wherever company is doing the main business operations like sales, procurement, payments, receivings, cash transactions, we call it as a business unit. Okay. So whenever we uh, register the legal entity and legal employer and PSU, we will ask our client, how many business units are associated with this particular legal entity? How many legal entities are associated with this particular, sorry, how many business units are associated with this particular legal entity? Five or 10 or only one? It depends. Okay. So legal entity is the top hierarchy. Within that, we'll have either one business unit or multiple business units. Okay. So in our business language, if we if we talk about in layman language, business unit is nothing but a branch where the client is doing the main business operations. It's associated with our reference data set. So while creating the business unit, system won't ask too many options. It will just ask us the name and then it will ask us where it is established. It means exactly which location your uh, branch is started. Okay. And then it will ask us which reference data set. This is very important. You are assigning one reference data set to the business unit means indirectly you are trying to assign the departments, jobs, grades and locations. Maybe one or multiple. It doesn't matter. Okay. So I am assigning one reference data set to the business unit means indirectly I am trying to assign all these objects to the business unit. That's what we call it as a business unit reference data set association. The question here is, what is BU? Business unit is nothing but an organization where the client is doing main business operations like sales, procurement, payables, receivables, and all. Okay. Do we need uh, to have reference data set while creating BU? Yes, it's mandatory. Default one RDS we are supposed to assign to the BU. Otherwise, we cannot create a business unit. Okay. Then what is reference data set? Reference data set is a set of objects to refer to the business unit. Refer means attach, associate, availability. Okay. So what objects you are, what are the set ID objects or what are the reference data set ID objects? There are four, department, job, grade, and location. So these all four, we cannot assign directly to the business unit. Okay. So while working with the reference data set, there will be a two types. One is a common reference data set Another one is enterprise set. Enterprise set we don't use. We'll be using common set. We can create a new reference data set. Okay. So we can say that common set and custom reference data set. Custom is nothing but new reference data set. We are going to create a, a new reference data set. Okay. So in this session, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create uh, new business units and uh, how we can assign these business units to the legal entity. Then we'll come back to our locations and other uh, other objects in the reference data set. Okay. So before I go for create a BU, I'll ask my my client, where is your company? Where it is established? Which location? Okay. So we have to create a first location. And then we have to go for create a business unit. While creating BU, attach this location. Okay. And then assign this business unit to the legal end. Assign this business unit to the legal end. Okay. So, but system is telling that here, if we look at, let me just go, location. While creating location, you have to assign to the reference data set. So, what I'm going to do is, let me create a location first. this location set. So wherever you find this word called a set in global HR module, it's indirectly reference data set. 
okay if i select common set that's very simple your location is going to be assigned or available for all the business units okay my client is telling new york location should be available for every employee in my branches in my business units what we have to do we have to create this new york location under the common set under the common set that's what we are supposed to do that okay so the location will be associated with this common set what i'm trying to do is i'm going to assign this location to the common set in the next sessions we'll talk about custom reference data set right now i'm using common set it's very simple you are using common set means you are going to make your location as global means available for all the business units as simple as okay so it's a let's say tata new york sales office that's the location yeah location means the status is active this location will be available for inventories also we can associate here and uh, indirectly it's address directly it's going to be address there are some other options where we will be able to enable ship to build to and other options here and if you want to make it as office site we can make it in phone number official language okay and email id I think it's got some autofill option. That's the reason. But So we entered the details here and then click review button. You will find a lot of options here. Don't worry about all this. These are all just additional fields, uh, which we will be discussing in the flux fields. Uh, additional fields to capture the information about the location. And after that, there is a save button and there is a submit button. If you save that, your transaction will be saved, but not approved and go for submit then it will be submitted for approval so some of the tasks you will find only save button you don't find submit button okay. what is the meaning of that if you do not have the submit button the meaning is very simple it, that particular process does not have any approval procedure directly it will be created and used if you have two buttons save and submit the meaning is very simple this transaction required approvals we'll be talking about the approvals in our uh, next level uh, sessions in approval management so right now just go for submit now it's auto approval will be there anyway you can go for cross check whether it's approved or not otherwise we don't find the location while creating the business unit Now you are getting the result. It means uh, your, lo your location is created successfully. That's fine. Now location is ready. And how about the business unit? If I want to create a BU, a uh, reference data set is mandatory. Location is optional, but RDS is mandatory. I'll use common set temporary. So what I'll do is let me go for business unit. Or you can create a new reference data set and attach to that no problem Let, uh, that we'll do discuss in the next session i'm going to create a new bu two business units i'm going to create here one is uh, tata new york bu1 another one is tata new york business unit two. so while creating the bu there will be only four fields system will ask us one is a uh, business unit name another one is who is the manager and location reference data set manager we don't need to worry about right now data new york business unit what and location so go for it
and uh, set, I'm going to use common set. Save. If we look at here, location is not mandatory. So without location, how we can have a branch? We can have a web virtual office, right? Virtually also you can sell the goods to your customers. That's why it's optional, okay? And this is the default reference data set. You can change it later from some other task, not from here. Once you do it default setup, you cannot change from here. And uh, if at all you want to do that, we can change later. I'll show you. Let me just go back to manage business unit and search for your uh, business unit. Then it's showing us. Common reference data set is built in and it's been assigned. Okay. So you cannot change from here. You can change it uh, different ways. That we'll be talking in the next uh, session about reference data sets. Okay. So this is about uh, how we can create one BU. I want to create one more business unit. Let me do that. For this one more location also is required, right? Without location also, I can create a BU. Let me just do that. Tata New York business unit two and default set I'm using. See, without location also, I'm able to create a business unit. But in financials, when you are trying to raise the invoice, then it will show error messages. When your company is raising the bill, legal invoice, then without location, how you can raise the bill? There, there you will get a problem, okay? So that is a finance consultant. But anyway, you can just remember, while creating the BU order mandatory, only one field is mandatory, that is reference data set default reference data set can we change this reference data set yes we can change but not from this task there is another task called manage business unit set assignment from here we can change we'll talk about that in the reference data set concept okay so now what we have done we created two business units let me go back to the task here and search for the tasks what we have created it means two branches we have, Tata BU1 and Tata BU2. Let's assign these two business units to our company. What is our company? Legal entity. Let's go to the task here. Assign business unit, business function. Generally, it will not be available in this offerings. Compensation management comes under human capital management. We don't find here this we will find under the financials because it, it comes BU. Most of the setups will do it at fee finance level. So go to this particular task uh, under finance offerings. Assign business unit to business function. One of the important question in the interviews. Can you tell me what is the task name to assign BU to the legal entity? Assign business unit business function. They won't ask you what is task name to create a BU to create legal entity to create location because all are simple. Manage location, manage legal entity, manage business. But this is something different name. Assign business unit, business function. And what is the scope here? Choose this. Search for your legal entity. Sorry, business unit. I'm going to select my first B, BU1. So this is the business unit. So when, when I'm trying to assign my business unit to the legal entity, system is asking, is your legal entity is already assigned to the ledger or not? Otherwise, you'll not be able to do this particular task, okay? So you can't search a legal entity directly. If you search, it will show error messages. See, attribute primary ledger ID is required. You can't search the legal entity here directly. First, you have to search the primary ledger. What is your, here, of course, if you know the legal entity name, no problem, you can search. If you know the ledger name, no problem, you can search. So that's why uh, in the interviews, they'll be asking us, my client is not using the financials. So obviously ledger doesn't require. So can we implement HCM without ledger? No. It's not mandated. It's it's not possible. It's mandatory. We must have a dummy ledger at least. Make sure that uh, your legal entity is assigned to the ledger already. Then it will allow us to assign your business unit to the legal entities. In this business unit, 
whatever the business you are doing are you procuring the goods from the suppliers are you making the payments to suppliers invoice bills are you selling the goods to customers are you collecting the amount from the customers collections are you raising the bills to your customer customer payments your management expenditure incentives lease management inventory material management this all comes under financials and supply chain management as a human capital management we don't need to worry about this check boxes this all our business unit business functions will be enabled corresponding module for example if you want to use this bu in inventory module you have to enable this if you want to use this business unit in account payables module we have to use this for invoicing and you have to use this for payment this is for your procurement and this is for your project accounting module again it's for procurement it's order management this is for crm module service request okay we don't need it for that and just go for save and close so what we have done in this particular session is we created a business unit and assigned it to the legal entity one bu we have done how to do the second business unit same task make sure that you are in financials and go to the task called assign business unit business function select the scope sometimes this pop up menu will not be populated refresh the page and try again scope and change your bu we have already worked with the business unit one now i am going ahead with the second business unit don't click on this if you click on this what happen it will open that business unit definition okay just click somewhere anywhere here okay and save and close so that that bu will be populated here and then we are trying to search for the ledger which is associated with our legal entity and then go for assign our bu to this this is how we will go for assign the business units to the legal entities we have done successfully multiple business units okay so the questions from this particular topic here is what is business unit and what are mandatory while creating the business unit reference data set is mandatory how will you assign the bu to the legal entity what is the task name for example my legal entity is not assigned for the ledger can i assign my bu to legal entity it means uh, this is a hierarchy right ledger within that legal entity within that business unit within that reference data set within that all this that's a hierarchy okay so i created legal entity but not assigned it to the ledger is it possible to assign my bu to legal not possible not possible here okay so that's what we have done now it is default reference date can we change this reference data set yes we can do it that we will be working when we are working with this objects okay so this is about uh, the business units whether we have one bu or multiple business units the same way we are supposed to create when we are working in the projects uh, legal entities might be 3 or 4 or only one but multiple business 10 20 15 or multiple business units will find that things we are supposed to create and assign to the business unit okay so that's about the business unit setup and entry questions over here it is thank you